Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all had a fantastic day. I'm having a good day, today, guys. Thanks for dropping the like, thanks for dropping the subscribe, thanks for being here. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, your year is going excellent. Start of a new year, do something exciting. Oh, a new team of the week, but we'll check out that after we do this pack. We've got a pack to do. I've done one. It's the footmiss is still around for me, but it's the yeah, there we go. It's the team of the week challenge. I've done it on the way home. Let's have a look. I'm enjoying life though, guys. How are you doing? Write in the comments. There you go. I just use cards that don't really like. The Argentinian League, I've got stocked of silvers. I need to get rid of them because I'm doing the bronze pack method and I'm just getting dupes and I'm having to discard them. But a rare gold pack is all rare, right? I think that's actually not that bad for the cost. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Then we'll go review the team of the week. Then we'll jump 24 hours ahead of time. Something sold. 350, you can't complain. That basically buys 90% of a pack or 75% of a pack of gold or bronze pack. But there you go. 12 items. Give us something good. Anything, anything bigger than a board would be very good here. Oh, it's big. I'm alright with that. It's bad. <laughs> Call off, but team of the week. Yes, that's an 85 rated card. Oh, it's an 86 rated card. Oh, not bad at all. He is not usable for me because I do not use a Serie A team. But do you know what? Hmm. You know what he gets? A perfect... Well, that is such a good pack. I don't mean to blow my own horn here, guys, but that is such a good pack for... Like, wow. Getting this guy, too. He's no cheap, either. Just because of his league and his nation, but... Kolarov. How much is Kolarov going for? 40k? 30, 40k? Anyway, I could get him on my team chat. Probably not, if I'm honest. I could have a mana lass. Gives a strong link. So I'm getting messaged. Don't know why. That's a really good pack. Let's go check Team of the Week, but we just packed one. I might sell Collar off for the money. You know what? I might do that. But then an 86 Team of the Week is good to have in the bank, right? Yeah, that's in it. I don't really know how hard it... I'm, like, what's happening? Can I get my Team of the Week, please? The, the Collar off is probably on the bench then. If he's No, he's there. He's there. And he's, as I say, he's cheap as... I say cheap. He's 40k, right? That's not terrible. I like that's I like that Firmino man. I do like the look of that Firmino. Just the card looks really cool. Is that a hero? Yeah, he must have done something good for Brazil. Anyone else who's notable? That Max doesn't look bad. See if he's got good week. Ah, free star, free star. Nah. Ben yeah, there's always expensive because five star weak foot. What? This'll be a really expensive player. Three hundred swift, told you. Jesus Christ. That would have been nice to get him as an eighty six and I could have sold it for three hundred K. This guy looks interesting. For an 83, 4 star, 4 star, high jump 6 foot. I actually think that card would play well. Who would, I would have rather to get Werner or... Neymar would have been really nice though. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah guys, drop a like, drop a comment. I'll see you all in a second. 34 hours later. There's no way I can get Collar off in my team, even though he's a very good left back. I might sell him for the 50k, just get me up to 300k. Or I might keep him for an SBC down the road. I'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a second, right? All right, guys, we're back. 24 hours later, icon swaps are out. Look, there they are there. I'm very interested to see what the requirements are. There's the online. So it's only three. All right, win four rivals. Win four rivals with first owners. That's going to be quite tough. You need to pack these boys. And when... I like the first owner requirement, I'm going to be honest, but these are just as hard as they were last time. What's the online single player one, the ones I'll be able to do? Win six world class with using six Mexican and six, five, I'm okay with that. Win six with 11 Saudi League, I'm okay with that, I've got some informers from the Saudi League. Win five from uh, using Italian player, legendary though, that's tough-ish, but it's not impossible. Well, like, that's okay, you can do three of them, anything else that's been released in terms of Nah, let's see what the actual players are. I have no idea. I haven't even checked, guys. So this is quite exciting. Things are selling like hotcakes, which I assume will be because I've got to do these things. And I'll be able to get them done over the coming weeks. And there'll be packs for future episodes. But I'm really interested in League SPC. Tell me it's been released. Still not. Man, still not yet. Um, where's Icon Swaps? There they are. Bobby Moore requires five. He's not got the pace, he's not got the height, he's not got the work rates. Only one thing good about Bobby Moore. Dribbling. This dribbling stats look really nice, except for the dribbling category, funny enough. And his defending is beast. 
That's 90s across the board, pretty much, apart from hidden accuracy. Or, for the same amount, you can have Frank Reichard. Four star, I really like him. Six foot two, low medium is not the worst, but not the best either. That's okay for that cost. Especially when you can only get three of the single players. I'm going to be talking about maybe getting Herrero. I like Herrero. His card looks very interesting. But he's better than any centre-back that I've already got. Probably not, guys. Edwin van der Sar, but there's only six up for grabs right now. Which makes me think, how are they going to... Edwin van der Sar is a beast goalkeeper. Six foot six. He's, he's one of the tallest, apart from him and Courtois, I think. Excellent, though. And there is a six foot nine guy, but he's like a silver rated card, so you don't go near him, right? <laughs> Raul, we're still talking about ten. Okay, all these guys under ten. Wow, all these guys for ten. Like Coleman, he's a better centre back than Bobby Moore by a mile. Even though, well, he's I would say he's got worse work rates, but I, I, I like him. I like him. Still though, he's a low rated card, but he's a beast card as a low rated. Robert Perez is quite a big card for a big rating. Mm, how are we going to get up to 11 with this? Because we've only got 6 so far. And we're going up to... I'm just going a little bit ahead. Like Ronaldinho, Patrick Guerra, 23. We're going to need to still have 23 options. And we've only got 6 options to pay for, guys. But let's let's start the bottom again. Sorry. Let's go back to the start. Oh, Gary Lineker. I'm always a fan of Gary Lineker. We're on Coleman. Okay, we're still talking about the 10 dogs here. These are all excellent for 10, I would think. Nakata is a bit of a rip for a 10, I would say. The card isn't the best. You know, I don't know why. Maybe it's his work rates and his height. He just doesn't. He's an icon I've used many years, and he's not been good. Socrates, opposite end of the spectrum though. His card's maybe lesser rated, but it's a beast. Five star week for oh, so good. Him as a cam, one of the best right backs in the game currently. This guy, I think he's got really good work rates. Yeah, with five star, four star. <laughs> he's like the opposite end of him. Mendy on the left, him on the right. Luis Figo as well. I think he's excellent. I've used him in a couple of drafts. He is just actually damn right. There would be no reason, if you could get to like 10 without trying, you would grind the free kind of harder icon swaps to get a Figo instead of having a, like a Coleman or a Raul. Even though Raul, what's his weak foot? Raul! Four star, four star. Left footed, but he, because he has such a high star rate, I'm not too bothered about that. That's actually a very good card. I'm not against that card actually, chat. But like I said, we're talking about the big dogs here. We're talking about if you're someone who can grind the game to an extent. So Campbell, again, he's just another level up in terms of a low medium alike. Better if it was low high, but low medium is better. Better than, better than his best rate. It's more work. Medium or high is on his defensive and lows on his attack, and that's good. And he's six foot two. He's the first one with actual height, real height for a centre back. I like his card. It's very good. It's very centre backy. You would want this as a centre back card. Gary Lineker, I, I've heard this in 92, it's one of his, it's his big one, it's his biggest one. His actual 92 card is a beast. Again, how many, it's 14. Like, I don't see, why would you go for Sol Campbell if you can go for a Gary Lineker? And a Lauren Bonk, again, fucking hell. I don't mean to swear on a uh, FIFA video, but that is just solo rated and it's out of position. I'm not a fan of this card. Nah, nah, this is a this is a miscalculation, this Lauren Blanc. You should have used his centre back at this point, I would think. And mid icon, I don't care who you are, don't go for mid icon pack, you'll get one of Lord Rowan's. Hernandez is free star weak foot. Not a fan chat. John Barnes. That one football song, you all know it. <laughs> it's actually a beast card. Wow. Four star, four star high medium left footed. Don't mind the fact that he's left footed because he's got that such a good weak foot. Yeah, that's a that's a god that's a god card. If you're someone who did gigs though last round, you're no point doing this. Del Piero is equal now, and he's got. A, well, actually, far, he's very good. Wow, very, very good. And Ronaldinho is the one everyone's going to grind their nuts off for, I'm sure. Low on Stam, I'm going to be real. But his actual card's beast. The medium low, I'm not a massive fan of, but he's one of these people that has an in game body that's special. And he's a. What the hell? How is Ekison. Essien. Better than Ronaldinho. Someone needs to explain that to me. Hi, hi. Make some shit CDM. If we're talking end game here, it is a nice card. Get me wrong, but how is how has he got such a good card? Am I the one that thinks he's a bit shit in IRL? He was a bit shit in real life. 
you know? I, just, I, I know a lot of people, guys, probably weren't born at that point, but he wasn't the guy on everybody's lips. Vieira was, or... The fact that they've been scummy and they're giving you, like, the 88 version, or they've given them the, the, the lowest-rated baby version. This card's still amazing, don't get me wrong, chat. Six foot four. It, people are going to grind their nuts off for this. If you're somebody who can get any amount of cards, you can get them all. I would go with... Gary Lineker, that leaves you with 10. Then I would go with... Probably a Perez. Gary Lineker and Perez would be my two if I had no options. Because both of those cards are high rated, 92 and 91. And they're beasts. Whereas, of course, me being me, I'm going to be able to do three this time around. So that's three. I'm going to be able to another, hopefully, maybe four through SBCs. Or whatever they're going to release the remainder with. That gives me up to seven. Then I can probably do another three. I'm going to be able to get to ten. I think. If I push myself, I can get to 10. That's just my ability, I'm afraid. Am I going to want a Coleman? Am I going to want a Raul? Am I going to want a Robert Perez? Or am I going to want... I'm tempted just to get two icons and go these two. If I can get 5 and 5. And if I could get 5 and 5, I would go with Bobby Moore and replace Laporte with him. Because he's very he's just an upgrade on Laporte for me and my Prem team. And then if I could get five more, I think that's doable. Front right card. I think that's good. But guys, tell me what you guys think. It's going to be very short. This is a sh this is the end of this episode. Next episode I'll have packs for you and all that. But, that, but I think that's actually a lot better. The only thing I'm worried about is there's only been... F at the moment of recording, there's only three offline and three online cards to play for. For this. And of course, if you did all of that 100%, you'd only get up to Her 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 now, I'm assuming there's going to be SBCs, I'm assuming there's going to be like that. It's going to hopefully take up the record. Because if it's 6 and 6, and then that makes 14, that makes 12, there's still 12 cards that haven't been released yet. And I'm thinking maybe those 12 cards will be SBCs. And if those SBCs come out, and even if they're costing 84 rated squads, I'll do that because it will give me the chance to get cards. I say 84, 80, 80 rated squads, 81 rated squads. I can maybe get up to a 12 or a 13 or a 14 by getting those free for squad battles and getting maybe, as I say, 7 or 8 from the League SPCs and all that, or SPCs. But yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, tell me what you guys think. Which ones are you going to go for? I'll kind of give them a thought on all of them. They're all actually good icons. It's just they've been a bit scummy and used like the baby icon Vieira. They've been very weird with some of the cards. Like, they've given you quite a high-rated Bobby Moore, but then they've given you a really low-rated Rai card. You know what I mean? There's, there's a misbalance. They've given you a really high-rated uh, Robert Perez for 10, but then you're giving you a really low-rated... Uh, Sidoff. Like, why has he got the be his best version? And why has he got his shittest version? Babyest version? Explain that to me. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Though I won't make this too long. And have a good one. Peace, guys. Alright? Have a good, have a good uh, I'd say, New Year's. Hopefully it's been good for you, man. I really do.